update three on Tropical Storm Gaston, which is located in the central Atlantic with winds of 70 miles an hour and a pressure of 992 millibars. Northwest at 16 miles per hour is its movement. It's 20.1 degrees north, 44.1 west as of 3 p.m. UTC, August 25th, and it's expected to move towards the northwest. <clears throat> There's a weakening tropical storm for a while. Uh, before beginning to intensify once more uh, as it gets beyond a high shear area that it's entering um, and could go on to become a Category 2 storm to the east of Bermuda. That's currently on the forecast. Um, right now, um, the National Hurricane Centre proclaimed it a hurricane briefly, um, though I personally don't, sub sub don't subscribe to that. Uh, it never really looked like a hurricane, though there may have been some possibility of that, but nonetheless it is still near hurricane status right Right now at 70 miles an hour and this is where it's expected to go in the next few days all out at sea so not much to garner from this imagery though at some point when we get to the weekend as the storm continues moving along as tropical storm through this high shear area and then out the other end we expect where it will become a hurricane category one then on to maybe category two one or two models saying a little bit stronger than that as well you can see bermuda on the on the left hand side there and it'll pass that quite um, comfortably we would hope and then moving off to the east potentially as a category two storm uh, though that's not yet certain Sea surface temperatures are increasing, but that's not really the storm's issue, but it will come in handy later on, uh, because, as I've said, the storm's issue is the wind shear, and that's what we're looking at uh, right now. Let me tell you all about it when the imagery flicks by, um, but I'll tell you that the wind shear is pretty high. There you can see it just to the north of the storm, and it, um, a whole like line there along the... Um, edge of Gaston and that's going to cause big issues for the next day or two and you can see the line of high shear depicted on this uh, water vapor image here uh, the water vapor imagery is not looking too bad uh, in favor of Gaston there um, and you can also see Invest 99L over Hispaniola there briefly so let's take a look at the latest floater imagery what's the, what has the storm actually been doing well I'll let you decide does that look like a hurricane to you well the uh, National Hurricane Center thought so and they called it a hurricane 75 miles an hour uh, and moving off towards the northwest and I must say it seems to be falling apart just a little bit in the latest frames you can see it's quite significantly sheared because the water vapor is not an issue you can tell there um, so shear is a big issue for Gaston right now and I do wonder whether it will survive that is something that we can only find out in time and we will indeed over the next two days so there it is right now the latest infrared imagery um, with that sort of uh, storminess off to the northwest of it which I assume is associated with Gaston uh, which you can track live on Force 13's tracking page force13.com forward slash tracker um, and you can see Invest 99L once more there and an uh, area of more cloudiness and storminess not far from Bermuda which is of non-tropical origin um, apart from that not much else going on in the Atlantic just yet though we will be watching Africa at all times at this time of year 49 tropical storms have formed in 2016 so far worldwide 19 of those have gone on to become category 1 storms uh, hurricane 74 miles per hour or higher 9 of them category 3 or higher of course, at the other side of the world, Lion Rock was the ninth, which means that 2016 surpasses 1977 in that column, but a long way to go for tropical storms. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. Or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. Uh, Gaston will be included in our coverage later tonight. We will be going live once more, as we did yesterday, uh, for mainly Typhoon Lion Rock, but we'll be keeping our eyes on everything tropics uh, tonight at 9pm UTC. Don't miss it. That's all for now.